What started as a way to get more burnt ends ended up in an extremely amazing new way to do pulled pork that I will do every time from now on. I'm never doing pulled pork the same again. This is amazing. Stay tuned for the video in what really creates a more tasty meal. There's nothing more to it than that. The charcoal's getting ready, heating up, and I'm gonna head inside and season the meat. Here's our country style ribs, and I'm really looking forward to getting all those burnt ends. I didn't know that they would have some bones attached, but those will come off because we're gonna smoke these a long time. The meat should fall off. And again, all this extra surface area has the seasoning and we'll get some of those burnt ends. And for a little extra spice, I'm gonna add some Creole mix. My basic rub had a combination of garlic powder, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and paprika. And my charcoal is coming along. I'm gonna wait about five more minutes and then throw it in the side box. Here's most of the wood that I'm gonna be using. It's a mixture of our fruit tree wood, which is back here. You know you have to wait six months until you can actually use it. It's gotta be all dried out. So this stuff is uh, ready to go. I'm gonna cut it in smaller chunks as I wait for this temperature to reach about 225. And I'm really excited. I haven't smoked too much this summer. So country style ribs is actually pork shoulder. They're not ribs at all. It's the same thing you use to make pulled pork, just cut in strips. Another little nuance is that pork butt and pork shoulder is the same thing. When it says pork butt, it's talking about the butt end of the shoulder. It's all from the same muscle in the pig. To get it tender, you gotta go low and slow for a long time. The thing that helps is the marbling of the fat within it. That's gonna keep the meat tender. I've got a great mixture of charcoal and wood ready to smoke. I'll close the vents and the flames will go out. When the wood's on fire, it's not smoking as much. Some people like to use a spray bottle to spray the flames. So it looks like I kind of got a little too hot when that happens, I'll either spray the meat with some vinegar or apple cider, or add more seasoning, or turn the meat. Anything for an excuse to let some of that heat out. A lot of beginners don't know when to put wood on. Well, when it stops smoking. See here, there's barely anything coming out. So what I'm gonna do is add some charcoal first and then add the wood on top and that'll ensure that it's not gonna flame up. It's looking perfect. Everybody knows smoking pulled pork takes like 10 hours. So with these, they're obviously gonna cook quicker. They've been on for two and a half hours. To get them to a higher temperature, just like I do my pulled pork, I'm gonna wrap it in foil. But I'm gonna add some liquid, that'll keep them tender. This is our fresh apple cider that we took care of this weekend. We pressed our apple cider, had a blast, and now it's gonna be the liquid on these pulled pork. 
All right, here they are. You can see we got tons of burnt ends. And I'm just gonna put about five to a thing and uh, get the temperature to rise on them. Also, just so you know, shiny side goes on the inside. That reflects more of the heat. I'll do that with all of them and then pop them back in for some more smoking for about an hour. All right, they're wrapped. We got some liquid in there. Can't wait for this hour to come <laughs> and finish up. They did feel a little uh, firm, so we're definitely, you know, maybe it'll take two hours, but we're gonna let this marinate and smoke for a little bit longer and then see what we got. So it's been about 40 minutes. I just wanted to come out here and get a little piece. Relax a little bit. It's a gorgeous night. You can kind of hear the rain. Let's take a look. Smells pretty good, huh? So we're gonna take one of these out and check to see how tender it is. This looks tender. Oh, it's pretty good. It's not super tender, but it's almost ready. Who wants to try that? Blow. Blow, blow, blow. Blah, blah, blah. It's too hot, bro. It's too hot. As usual, I had a blast smoking and learned. Three hours smoking, two hours wrapped in foil, you're gonna end up with some great burn ends and some amazing pulled pork. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.